people. Walk the Dog Forecast is sponsored by Texas A&M University, Kingsville. All right, now time for your entertainment news. It looks like Despicable Me 4 is in theaters right now, and so far it's made $27 million. That's a lot of money. It really is, and the movie is expected to dethrone Disney's Inside Out 2, if you can believe it or not. Ooh, lots of emotions. Uh, I know, that's so true. I see what you did there. <laughs> the movie's actually already made a little over $1.1 billion uh, worldwide, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Absolutely, and Marvel fans are waiting for a movie release. Jeremy Parson has the details in today's entertainment report. <laughs> Despicable Me 4 has officially hit movie theaters. My girls cannot get enough, and uh, industry insiders are projecting that the film will make over $110 million over the five day holiday weekend. And so far, the Fourquel is setting records for the franchise with these box office predictions. It will have some competition, though, at the box office, with Inside Out 2 remaining strong after a third week at number one, and it's predicted to make an additional $32 million over the holiday weekend. That's for Inside Out 2. But with heat advisories in place across the Southland and across the country and kids home for summer, that is sure to drive kids and parents to the theater, making for a great box office weekend. Some good news for these two actors, watch. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. You were the X-Man. That's right, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman's upcoming Marvel film Deadpool and Wolverine is looking like it's going to make a record box office debut. The film tracking to open to at least $160 million domestically. That would be the best start of the year to date, as well as the biggest launched ever, a launch ever for an R-rated title. Deadpool and Wolverine hits theaters July 26th. That is your entertainment report in Hollywood. I'm Jeremy Parsons. All right, that's going to be very, very fun. There's going to be lots of movies out there. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. yeah. And guess what, Jeremiah? Hmm. If you happen to be wondering which movies do hold the record for the 4th of July weekend, we do have a list of the top five movies. So okay. are you ready for this? Here yes. we go. And Brianna's here, too. Guys, we're going to get the insider info. Look, Spider-Man 2 was featuring uh, Tobey Maguire and Kristen Dunst, a classic. Mm -hmm. Well, the new version, it opened June the 30th and landed at the 4th that Sunday. And then the movie made $21 million that day and then coming in at number four was uh the amazing the amazing spider-man Spider oh okay that's a different one that, okay oh, so in, look, 20, 2012. in 2012 12. oh my gosh i remember this day mm -hmm. no just kidding oh, what? <laughs> just kidding the movie starred andrew andrew garfield rather and emma stone and that one made 23 million dollars that weekend and then number three was actually despicable me too think about it we're on number four now so wow. this, is, this is a while back yeah. Yeah. And, and that one made 24 million dollars that weekend uh and then number two was another Spider-Man movie. What, what's going on here? People Spider -Man. I know. Spider-Man. I guess that's their thing to <laughs> release close Near to Independence Day. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I see the tactic. All yeah. right then. Well, Spider-Man, uh, that one, it actually came in at number, uh, in 2019 and the movie starred Tom Holland and Zendaya. You guys remember that one, right? Yes. yes. Oh, who could forget? And then the movie made $25 million, which is still a lot, you guys. And then the number one movie that topped the box office for the July 4th oh! weekend so far is the live action movie, Train Transformers starring Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. Yes, the best one. Movie, yeah. yeah. That was a good one too. I love Megan Fox. And the movie was released on July the 4th, like I said, much like Independence Day, but that one grossed $29 million, which broke the record for wow. the single biggest movie to play that holiday. That's wow, great. That is great. When you said that you were going to have this, I thought it was going to be movies to watch oh. uh, around on, on or on of July. Yes. Like we had talked about, I was like, oh, what, what movies do you guys like to yes. watch? And yeah. we had talked about Independence Day with Will Smith. I didn't know like what movies released around yeah. for well, the July. Marco was really saying <laughs> um, Jaws. Because oh, yeah. Because apparently oh. in the movie, oh, yeah. that's when, I've never seen Jaws. That's oh, when I have. They were celebrating on July 4th. And yeah. The shark yeah, happened. and that's what I thought too that we were going to have. On South Padre. I'm sorry. Okay, oh, go ahead. Sorry, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. <laughs> I'm just relating. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I thought it was going to uh, be movies that were correlated with 4th of July. So right. I was thinking like <laughs> maybe Jaws, mm -hmm. and I was thinking like 
summer camp scary movies, you know, summer movies. Yeah. And obviously Independence Day right. with uh, Independ Will Smith. Yeah. And no then, scary movies. Um, mm -hmm. Olympian, Olympics have fallen. Olympia has Olympian fallen. Olympian has fallen. Yes, yeah, thank that's you. That's a good movie, too. That's uh -huh. a good movie. Which my friend saw that like over mm -hmm. five times in the theater. I was like, Oh my gosh. It's that good? Wow. Uh, yeah. It's good, but I don't know about that good. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But some people would say The Terminator, mm -hmm. Danielle. The Terminator. Oh. Okay, yeah. So our amazing producer, Alette, actually gave me some info for you guys to compare, okay? So okay. Uh, okay, for, for 2023. I know. <laughs> I know. She's done her research. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Pay attention, please. Terminator. You wanted to know about Terminator. I got this here on my notes somewhere, guys. Oh. Ah, thank you, Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It's all in your notes. This is what happens when you let him peek at your notes. He helps you. <laughs> looks Cheater. better than you do on camera. Cheater. Okay, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. That, that one premiered in 2003. That one came in at number two. Yeah, wow. Yes, wow. very cool. And then so after that was the Twilight Saga Eclipse. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you guys like fans of Twilight? I used to be, yeah. yeah. And now when you watch them, it's kind of cringe. I, I don't like watching okay. them anymore because of that. I it makes me feel ask. uncomfortable. Edward yeah. or what, what was the other Jacob. One? Jacob. Uh. Edward or Jacob? Growing up, I was Edward, <gasps> but. Until Jacob came in town. But I liked Emmett, which is oh. uh, Edward's brother okay. with Rosalie. That's wow. not part of this equation. Uh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Independence Day, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Men in Black, and uh, at the very bottom of the list was Minions, The Rise of Gru. Oh, yeah, you, oh yeah. Gru. you have to say Gru. 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 Yeah, but either way, Girl. all of them are great movies, and we'll have to see what happens this year. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spickle Me for it, that's going to be a good one. Especially it is, for the kids. But Inside I don't out think out it would break the box office yeah. like Inside Out would. Well, we shall see. All right.